Okay, so this video is about how does temperature affect equilibrium in K. So this is just a summary of what happens. Um, there's two separate components. Um, if the given equation is exothermic, then if the temperature increases, the equilibrium shifts to the left and K decreases. And if it's exothermic and the temperature is decreased, it shifts to the right and K increase. Now, if the, the equation they give you is endothermic, um, and the temperature increases, it shifts to the right, and K increases. And if temperature decreases, it shifts to the left, and K decreases, if it's endothermic. Now, I'm going to try to explain to you um, how this all works. Um, I mean, if it's a last-minute situation, I guess you can just cram this, but I'll try to explain it. Uh, okay, so, so there's, there's, um, there's a few steps you need to follow. First, you have to de uh, uh, determine whether it's exo or endothermic. Exo or endo. And usually they'll tell you um, in the equation if it's exo or endothermic. Um, otherwise, you, you have to see. Um, like if, it's, if they give you an example problem and it's A plus B, A, B plus heat, well, since heat is being released, you know that it's an exo. Um, and the reverse is true. If it's A, B, and then it's heat, and then A plus B, then you know this is endo. So this is endo. This is exo. So, yeah, you can just just um, just see it, and then uh, if they, yeah, but they'll usually tell you if it's exo or endothermic. The next thing you have to see is like um, if it's if it's um, so yeah that's the first step and then the second step is um, you have to see if uh, uh, w like what they're asking like or how that affects your problem. So if it's temperature, right? They say um, temperature uh, increases, right? The o the opposite needs to happen. Okay, how do we explain this? Um, ninety. All right, let's say we're at ninety-eight degrees, right? Humans are naturally at ninety-eight degrees uh, Fahrenheit. When we exercise or something, and we get up to a hundred, right? Um, what happens? We want to cool down. If because this is our equilibrium, uh, we want to cool down. So we just got heated up, and we want to cool down. So what do we want to do? We want an endothermic reaction. We want a f a something to cool us off, and that's endothermic. The reverse is true. So if we're, let's say, at 95 degrees, right, we're really cold, uh, we want to get back to equilibrium, so we want an exothermic reaction to heat us back up to 98, right? So first you determine if it's ex or endo, um, because if, if, if you determine that the forward reaction is exothermic, that means the reverse has to be endo, right? So now since you have your temperature, um, uh, now you know that what you want, like, like because now you know that if temperature is increasing, if temperature just increased, you want an endothermic reaction. You want, to be, uh, you want it to be cooled down. Um, applying it to this uh, right here, um, if temperature increased, we want an endothermic reaction, and the first equation. If we want an endothermic, well, the forward is exothermic, so we want the endothermic reaction. Okay. The, f the next thing is um, to see which way the equilibrium shifts. If you figure out which direction is um, uh, which direction is which, let's say um, like the following example, like end endothermic is the reverse reaction. That means if it's going in this, if it's going, if it's going to the left, that means the equilibrium shifts left. So you figure out you figure out the direction, and if it if it want if it goes in the forward reaction, it shifts to the right. Because the forward reaction is going to the it's going like the forward reaction actually is like this direction, right? Reverse is the opposite. So if it's opposite, it's shifting left. This way it's shifting right. Finally, how to determine K. Um, K is determined uh, by, once you know the direction, if you know that's forward, forward is re 
product favored. Okay, so know these two terms like forward, forward reaction and reverse reaction. Forward is product favored. It creates more products. Reverse is reactant favored. It uh, creates more reactants. So if you know that it's an endothermic reaction and it's going in reverse it's going to be reactant favored. If re it's reactant favored, then you just look at the definition of K, which is products over reactants. And so if K is increasing and it's reverse, um, because it's re uh, if it's reverse, then reactants are increasing. The denominator is increasing. So if, let's say, we gave an imaginary value of 1 over 1, products over products, and reactants are increasing, then it would become K is 1 over 2 because reactants have just increased and so K is decreasing. So let's do an example problem. Let's say we're given um, A plus B um, A plus AB, right? So they it's given that this is an exothermic reaction, okay? This is exothermic. And they say what happens when temperature decreases when temperature decreases, what happens to the equilibrium and what happens to K? Well, what happens is when temperature decreases, um, what happens is that now we go back to our steps. We determine, we go back to number one, which is, is it exo or endo, right? So we look at it. Well, it's given that it's exo. So the, for, the forward reaction, right, the forward reaction is exo and the reverse is endo, right? Okay, so that's our first step. We already determined which way is which. So forward is exo, reverse is endo. The second step, um, temperature. What is, what is it telling us? Well, temperature is decreasing. So you go to your um, you go to your chart. So if temperature is decreasing, you have you have ninety eight degrees, right? It just went down to ninety five. What does it want to do? go back up to equilibrium. If you're cold and you want to get hotter, that's an exothermic. You want to be heated up, so it's exothermic. So now you now the third step is which way does it shift? Well, if it's exothermic, it's a forward reaction. So now since you know that you want the forward reaction and you look at the direction and the direction is right, so it shifts right, so the equilibrium shifts right. And then finally, you determine how what happens to K by knowing um, by knowing which direction. So if it's forward reaction, right? Remember, like uh, it's product favored, so it creates more products. So you go to the definition of K, which is P over concentration of products over reactants. And uh, if we want, if we have a forward reaction and it's product favored products are increasing so if we have an imaginary number one product over one reactant and now we just said that products are increasing two over one well two is bigger than one so k is increasing so for for just this type of thing just um, follow the general outline of uh, finding out if it's x or endo finding out if it's um, oh, which like if it's the temperature figure out that it's the opposite, like if temperature is uh, decreasing, if temperature is decreasing, um, then it's exo, it's, the, it's just the opposite, like if it's decreasing, it's exo, if it's increasing, it's endo, then, then you can see, once you know which direction, um, th that'll tell you which way it shifts, because if it's forward, it's right, if it's reverse, it's left, and then finally, um, oh, once you know it's forward or reverse, you can know if it's forward product products are increasing it means that k the products the p is increasing meaning that k increases so just practice uh this a lot and you'll get you'll soon it'll be really easy